All right, guys, I've got my Tesla Model 3 in the shop for its 6,000 mile tire rotation. And I thought, hey, while it's on the lift, let's just tear it apart for no reason and see what's under all these covers. Just kind of see what makes it tick. Let's do it. So I got the bottom cover off of the front drive unit and my first impressions are Tesla your welding robots need to go back to welding school that's real splattery anyway so what I found so far we've got our two leads you know DC 400 volts coming from the battery going up here and uh, so this side will be your inverter and that's going to take this DC voltage and convert it into three phase AC I'm assuming somewhere there should be three wires or three connections going into the motor side and so you get your electric motor spinning up here there's going to be a gear drive and some sort of a differential in here. And you've got your axle shafts going out either side, transmitting the power to the wheels. Pretty cool stuff. You've got a couple more uh, high voltage wires here. And they're going up to something that I can't see, but I'm assuming that's going to be to the AC compressor motor. We'll take the top off and look at that too. And here's this little spin on filter. I guess that's for the gear oil. I don't know if you're ever supposed to change it. But, oh, I got cats. I don't want to run over you, kitten. You hang out there. Hang out there. Don't get run over. So that's pretty much what's under here. Hopefully we can see more from the top. Oh, I almost missed this. This here has got to be some sort of a electric motor to run a, a power steering assist. It's connected to this here, going all the way down to your tie rod. So that's got to be the power steering assist motor. And that'll be Electric, not hydraulic, I assume. I don't think there's any hydraulic to it at all. Here's another neat little tidbit on the back side. Uh, so here you've got your rear brake caliper. And uh, so when you put this car into park, it actually squeezes the brake calipers with this little electronic actuator. Uh, there's no transmission. So there's no parking pole, so uh, I suppose that's how you park it. Uh, you can hear them making racket when you put it in park. Uh, so yeah, that's different than a gas car for sure. got the rear cover off and this is what 6,000 miles of living on a dirt road looks like that's gonna be nasty so here's what is under that cover oh dear oh look at this guy man what are you doing are you coming in here and polluting with that gas burning yeah, machine? <laughs> oh my goodness. What are you doing? Oh, I was just, you know, tearing apart my car for no reason just to see what was underneath everything. But I actually think I have a leak. It looks like right up here. 
around this axle shaft. Is that under warranty? Well, yeah. And I don't know. There's a lot of dirt stuck there, but it's not like oily. So, yeah, eh, probably just got a little bit wet on assembly. Eh. I'll just clean it up and, you know, check it in another 6,000 miles. What is that filter for your differential there? Yeah, I think that's going to be for the gear oil. Yeah. Polluter. This kitty is. <laughs> <laughs> so there's even less to see in the back than there is in the front. You've got pretty much the same thing. DC voltage going in to the inverter and coming over here as AC three-phase, I'm assuming. Uh, and so this motor is going to drive gears in here and come out these output shafts to the wheels. Uh, one thing I can see from here, this looks like a heat exchanger. It's probably picking up oil from the differential and heat exchanging it with some coolant and uh, hoses going up front, getting cooled off and coming back. So that's about all to see underneath. Uh, if you didn't already know, this here entire floor is the battery. And we'll see what's under the front liner next. So we've seen what's underneath. Now let's see what is under this front liner. Uh, so first we'll take this off. I've had this off before, it just pops off. And so we can see we got our 12 volt battery here. We got an air duct there. Brake master cylinder. So I'm going to take all the bolts out and pull the front liner. We'll see what we can see. So we got the frunk liner out of it. Uh, just a couple interesting things I've found so far. You got this little deal here. So it's for the fire department. In case you're ever in a wreck, they could cut those wires and that should kill power to the interior so you know airbags don't get set off while firefighters are rescuing you. Uh, another interesting little tidbit is this heat exchanger right here. So this is your coolant reservoir. Um, you've got your uh, coolant runs into a heater core in the cabin, just like on a regular gas car. I kind of would have assumed it would have just been a heating element, but it actually uses a heater core. Uh, so you've got your AC compressor on a motor right here. And uh, I can feel this is cold. Uh, so this is a cold line and it's running not only into your cab but also over to this heat exchanger. And I'm just making wild assumptions here but I think if you were ever in a really hot day like 100 degrees and it wanted to cool the battery down to let's just say 75, uh, it would be able to do that using this heat exchanger instead of just cooling with the radiator and ambient temps higher than what you want to cool it down to. So that's pretty cool. We've got another little heat exchanger here on your drive unit. That's to cool your gear oil. Um, you can see the steering. And uh, yeah, that's about all I know about that. So. Thanks for watching. Catch us on the next video.
so we just pulled into our shed. Just Tank Care Shed? The Just Tank Care Garage. There's just a possum up here eating the cat food. Cat was just chilling up there with him. Like the cat didn't even mind. Should we try to pet a possum tonight? Let's try to pet a possum tonight. He looks On the next episode, we go to the hospital <laughs> and get treated for bubonic plague. <laughs> he looks like a really nice man. Let me turn on the shed lights. Hi, little guy. What's up, little buddy? Are you going to be my new pet? Oh, he's a nice guy. How do you like your new kitty friend? Where, you, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? What do you think about your new kitty friend? Oh, oh, he's going down. Is that your kitty friend? Where are you going, man? Well, he's gonna hide out back there. He's climbing down here, uh, jumper cable. Yeah, he's climbing down my jumper cable. Okay. Now he's back in the Oh, tires. he can't see nothing. There's tires there. Hi, little buddy. What do you think, Cat? Should we just let him chill out there? He's not hurting nobody. Yeah, I bet that's why the cats or the dogs go crazy. Is that why the dogs go I bet crazy? That's why the dogs go crazy. I thought they was just barking at the wind. See, when we pulled up, I thought that possum was this cat right here. Uh huh. I don't have any food for you, but sorry. Uh, there, just chilling. He's a little guy. I bet you could have pet him. Did you pet him on the video? Did you pet I him? I don't want the bubonic plague. Uh, he eats ticks. He eats ticks. I don't have any ticks on me. I don't need him. Fleas? I don't think so.